History is filled with inventions, reinventions, and outright theft of ideas, but so many of those genius machines are still being used today. So we're going to take a look at some of the most underrated machines in history. The ones you've never even heard of. From an ancient Persian device to a legendary piece of mining technology, let's take a look at 15 incredible machines you won't believe existed. Number 15. Cofferdams how difficult could it be to actually build something underwater? Very difficult, it turns out. So some genius decided to invent the coffer dam, a unique bit of technology that changed everything. This is how underwater structures are built. Long ago in the Persian Empire, Persians would pile earth around the construction area and bucket the water out to ensure a dry work area. It was pretty boring and pretty risky, but what do you expect? They didn't even have Amazon back then. Over the next few centuries, the technology developed quite a bit until we reached what we have today, big machines that effectively wall off the water. Construction employees can get in and do their work without the risk of being crushed by an unthinkable amount of water, and everybody is happy. Well, maybe not the fish who keeps bumping into the new metal walls, but everybody else is fine. In the world of construction, it's fair to say that the coffer dam is one of the more unique pieces of equipment, and it's also one of the most valuable, so if you ever wondered how all of those underwater structures are built, now you have your answer, and you're very, very welcome. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14, Belaz 75710. Some machines are not content to just be huge, unthinkably large technological advancements. They need to be the best, the most impressive everything. Luckily for the Belaz 75710, it is. This is the largest, highest payload capacity haul truck in the world, which I'm sure is very impressive, but to most of us, it's just a big truck with a lot of words. Actually, big doesn't really do justice to this truck. It's 67 feet long, 32 feet wide, and 27 feet high, so it's probably a little more than just big. It's actually one of the heaviest vehicles ever to be designed by Bell S. And according to people who know what they're talking about, it's also one of the most powerful. So really, just to sum up everything I said, literally seconds ago, big truck go vroom vroom very fast. That pretty much sums it all up. The Bell S 75710 is a triumph of high payload capacity haul trucks. which I hear is quite a competitive field. I don't know who exactly designed the greatest payload truck of all time, so we'll just say this is it and congratulate them accordingly. Congratulations, someone. Number 13. Cobelco SK-3500D Alright folks, it's time to talk demolition. Not everything can be a constructive good time, right? Sometimes you have to find a piece of equipment worthy of just ripping everything apart. And that's where the Cobelco SK-3500D comes in, a master of destruction. Cobelco probably words it a little nicer, but they're big destruction machines pretty much. The SK-3500D demolition machines are actually the largest in the world, designed to dismantle tall, strong buildings in the most fun way possible, tearing them down. The way the SK-3500D works is not unlike a young girl in art class, using her hands to just rip a piece of paper in half. It's pretty much that principle, but made much bigger, and with the use of state-of-the-art Japanese technology, the claw grabs stuff and then just rips it apart. Another way to think of it is the world's biggest grabber machine. However you want to think about it, the SK-3500D looks fun. Who among us would not love the fun of being able to help tear down an abandoned building? I would do that today, within the hour. Wink wink. Number 12. Bagger 293. 
Sadly, no, it's not a machine that bags all your groceries for you. Bagger 293 is a giant bucket wheel excavator. So, well, it's a little bit less helpful than a grocery store packer, I guess. Just a little bit. Unless, of course, you happen to be working in a coal mine. If so, you'll know very well just how handy and helpful a big old bucket wheel excavator like the Bagger 293 can actually be. It can actually move up to 8.5 million cubic feet worth of soil in a single day. Which sounds like a pretty impressive statistic if you're as clueless about this stuff as I am, but here's what I really want to talk about. The Bagger 293 is not just a machine, it's a Guinness World Record holder shared with its siblings. It's many, many siblings. You see, the Beggar 293, along with its siblings, is one of the largest diggers in the world. So it stands to reason that it would be granted one of the world's greatest honors. Again, that's a Guinness World Record, not a knight or a damehood. Just to clarify, as far as I'm aware, Queen Elizabeth has no intentions to name Beggar 293 a sir or dame yet. Number 11. Overburden Conveyor Bridge F60. If you haven't already figured this out, the world of mining requires a heck of a lot of special equipment. I mean, a lot of equipment. You're looking at the Overburden Conveyor Bridge F60, a device designed to transport the overburden. Look, it's a whole thing. We'll get to it. In the world of mining, overburden describes the material that lies over the top of the area you want to exploit. So basically, it's the rock or soil over the top of the coal or... or... The conveyor bridge, then, is designed to transport all of that leftover waste somewhere else. But in the case of the F-60, you're looking at the largest movable technical industrial machine in the world. It's 1,647 feet long and has been described as the Lying Eiffel Tower. To sum up for you, this is the largest vehicle by physical dimensions ever made by humankind. So I guess it's fair to say that this is an accomplishment, and though they were produced as far back as 1969, the F-60 can still be found out there in the world. It's still being used to transport all the crud that won't make anybody any money. What a gift. Number 10. TTC Wise Giant. Super tanker, it's a word that conjures up a very specific image in your head, right? A big old tanker dressed in spandex, flying through the air and probably punching a Nazi. Well, I'm sorry to say that we don't have any of that. Well, we have the tanker, which is probably the least interesting part, but just... Uh... Go with it. The TTCY's Giant was a ULC super tanker that broke quite a lot of records. She was the longest self propelled ship in history, possessed the greatest dead weight tonnage ever recorded, and was the heaviest self propelled ship of any kind. That's a lot of impressive facts right there. Of course, most of those records have since been taken over by new ships, but the legacy of TTCY's giant will live on forever, but not the ship itself, which has been scrapped. The TTCY's giant remains one of the most impressive super tankers ever to sail on the open oceans. And while she changed names more than a criminal in witness protection, she never lost her spirit because she was a tanker and tankers don't have spirits. So by definition, she kept it. That's foolproof logic, I think. Number 9. Big Bertha you might have never heard of Big Bertha, but if you've traveled through the Seattle region in the past five years, there's a chance you may have seen her work, because Bertha was a tunnel boring machine built for a very specific project. After several years of controversial debate about replacing the Alaskan Way viaduct, the Washington State Department of Transportation came up with an idea. They would create a tunnel that would effectively replace the viaduct completely. $2.8 billion later, 
her, and the project was commenced. Bertha, a 57.5-foot diameter machine, was built in Japan in 2013, and by the end of the next month, boring had officially begun and was scheduled to finish just two years later. Unfortunately, a series of delays meant that Bertha's big break would have to wait a little bit. In 2017, the tunnel boring was completed, and Bertha's job was done. The new tunnel officially opened to the public on February 4th, 2019, cementing Bertha's legacy in the Seattle region. Her work would last for decades to come, another example of the incredible work machines do, because our fleshy meatbag bodies just don't do things in the same way. Believe me, someone has tried to do what Bertha did themselves. It doesn't end well. Number 8. P&H L 2350 Loader It doesn't have a particularly fun name, but then how many machines do? Bob the Builder had to name his machines himself, and even then he wasn't all that creative. Maybe P&H L 2350 is the best option, all things considered. The P&H L 2350 Loader is much more than a simple wheel loader, my friends. This is the most powerful and productive wheel loader in its class that comes directly from Komatsu, the company that designed, built, and sells these products, so you know they're completely and utterly unbiased. This kind of equipment is used in construction work worldwide, capable of lifting up over 160,000 pounds worth of weight at any one time. And somehow, Komatsu found a way to upgrade the drive system while minimizing fuel consumption. How did they do it? I don't know, but they said it's a good thing, and as I said, they're very unbiased. There's actually a whole lot of interesting and unique qualities that come with the P&H L 2350 loader. But to go through them all would take too long. All you have to know is that Komatsu thinks this a great device and worth your time. I've never heard a company be so effusive about their own product, so it must be good. Number 7. Big Musky. I mean, say what you want about the coal industry, but they sure do know how to name their products. Big Muskie sounds like a pretty awesome name for anything, whether it's an animal or just a big hunk of metal. Now let's figure out what the hell it was. Big Muskie was a coal mining boost Cyrus Erie Dragline Excavator, first produced in 1969. It stood 222 feet tall, that's almost 22 stories tall, and weighed some 13,500 short tons, which is, I think we can all agree, absolutely insane. With a 220 cubic yard bucket, it was the largest single bucket digging machine ever created and apparently was one of the world's largest mobile earth moving machines during its run. Apparently, the bucket itself was so big that it could hold two Greyhound buses side by side. So I think we can confidently say Big Muskie was not false advertising. This is a big piece of machinery. Big Muskie operated in Ohio from 1969 to 1991, and it cost $176 billion in today's money to be built. Today, the machine has been scrapped, but the bucket is still on display in Ohio. If you're interested in seeing a big rust bucket, you're in luck. Number 6. Komatsu D575A Super Dozer do you know the Komatsu D575A Super Dozer? If so, you're either in the surface mine industry, or you're just extremely smart. Either way, I admire and respect you, and for the rest of you, you're in my club, but it's okay. We're gonna learn what those words mean. The Komatsu D575A is a 1,150 horsepower tractor crawler and slash or bulldozer that can move up to 120 25 cubic yards of material per pass. I hear that's a very impressive figure, so really, we should all be extremely impressed by that. 
It's actually commonly referred to as the world's largest production bulldozer, which truly is an accomplishment. After all, the mining industry is not exactly short on equipment, so to achieve such a thing is surely a big success. I'm assuming. Again, I'm a voiceover talent reading from a script. We have to be realistic when it comes to my knowledge on the mining industry. Before it ceased production in 2012, the D575A was mostly used in surface mines in the US, Australia, and Japan. But some people did make use of the device for heavy construction work and also in quarries. Because why not, you know? Live a little, man. Number 5. Lieber R9800 Mining Excavator if you take nothing else from this video, you'll have a whole new range of knowledge about mining equipment. And when you really think about it, that's priceless. So here's another one. The Lieber R9800 Mining Excavator. What does it do? It... It mines, maybe? According to the company, the R9800 provides a cost-effective, highly productive mining solution for large-scale mining operations. But let's get into some raw stats because I know that's what you're all here for. Other than, you know, my beautiful voice, the R9800 operates at a weight of around 882 tons, making it drastically larger than other Lieber excavators. It's a surprisingly gargantuan piece of tech in an industry that so famously likes to use small, intimate machinery. I am, of course, you know, being sarcastic right now. The whole point of mining seems to just be making a lot of noise. The R9800 was, at the time of release, the world's largest excavator. Is it still that way today? Uh, by the time you are seeing this video, probably not. Humans have this insatiable need to one-up each other. There will undoubtedly be an even bigger excavator by the time we get to the next topic, which conveniently is right now. Number 4. Cat 6090 FS Hydraulic Shovel what makes a hydraulic shovel so impressive? I have no idea, but companies are still doing their best to try and find out, and you have to admire that. The Cat 6090 hydraulic shovel seems to think the answer is in safety and productivity, which seems like a risky choice. Everybody knows it's the free toys. McDonald's would nail this assignment. The 6090 FS is actually one of the most agile and productive devices on the market, thanks to the 260 liter diesel engines that power the vehicle. Designed and developed for use in the mining industry, there aren't many other vehicles that give you quite as much bang for your buck as the 6090FS. Low fuel consumption, a sophisticated hydraulic system, this thing really has the whole package. But still no free toys, come on man! Some Pokemon figures or something. Well, even if there are no free toys, there are a lot of advanced and enhanced safety measures, which I guess is better than nothing. I mean, it's no Mewtwo action figure, but I'll take what I can get, I guess. My strongly worded email will just stay in drafts for now, but the ball is in your court, cat. Number three. PI Class Super Tankers even just the name Super Tanker is exciting, but the TI Class Super Tankers? They are something else entirely. The TI Class comprises the ships TI Africa, TI Asia, TI Europe, TI Oceania, a collection of impressive ships. And I do not use that word lightly. Of the four ships included, this class is one of the largest in the world. By displacement, dead weight tonnage, and gross tonnage, the TI class ships are only smaller than one other ship. Which is obviously pretty insane. Each ship in the class has a surprisingly high service speed compared to other super tankers, which only increases their earning capacity. Which, you know, is very popular with all of the people that pour their millions into this industry, which apparently is quite a lot of billionaires, because these ships cost an absolutely eye watering amount of money. Believe me. The great irony of being one of the biggest ships in the world, of course, is that there are some places 
places you just can't go. These ships can't pass through the Panama Canal, or the Suez Canal, or many other canals in all likelihood, which will surely confound many people, but hey, it only makes you more exclusive. Who needs them? Number 2. NASA Crawler Transporter if I'm to give you my honest thoughts for a moment, I would say that the NASA Crawler Transporter is probably one of the greatest machines ever invented. It's pretty much technology on steroids and then some. Which, now that I think about it, describes any and all NASA technology. At one time, the only way to get space shuttles from place to place was to disassemble it move it piece by piece, and reassemble it at the new location. But that's so much work and everyone is so lazy that the geniuses at NASA came up with an easier solution. That's when they created this device, which is basically a bunch of tanks with some connections and a building on top. The crawler weighs about 2,721 tons and requires around 30 NASA experts to operate it successfully. And even then it takes around 5 hours from the start starting point to the launch pad. Oof, right? In fact, the two crawlers currently being used at the Kennedy Space Center are the two OG vehicles from 1965, so this is actually one of the oldest NASA vehicles in active service. Because it's just so much work to replace them, NASA needs to come up with technology that can do that without needing humans. Number 1. Schwerer Gustav Railway Gun when you hear about the Schwerwer Gustav, you're going to wonder how you never heard about it before. It's truly an incredible invention that almost nobody even knows about. Prepare yourself for a pretty crazy story. It's gonna get wild. The Schwerwer Gustav was a German railway gun developed in the late 1930s for one specific purpose. To destroy the main forts of the French, the main forts of the French Megano Line, those forts were the strongest in existence at the time, and the gun's invention was mostly a preparation thing. They wanted to have it ready. But when the Battle of France actually broke out, the gun wasn't ready. Thankfully, it wasn't needed in that fight, but it was ready for the Battle of Sevastopol, where it destroyed a munitions depot 98 feet below ground. Pretty impressive, right? I know. The Schwerer Gustav was the largest caliber rifle weapon ever to be used in combat. And in terms of overall weight alone, it remains the heaviest mobile artillery piece ever built. So how on earth is it that so few people even know that this weapon ever existed? It's an amazing question and one that I have no answer for. You know what that means. Feel free to wildly speculate and share in the comments. What's the craziest machine you've ever seen? Let us know in the comments. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.